So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel with the next episode of our Battle Cats Evolution series. Yeah! So in the last episode, we talked about the Kung Fu Cat, where um, I just wanted to bring this up right now because I don't know when I ever will, but uh, I was talking about the reference in that video, and you guys seem to have other interpretations for the reference that I mentioned. So most of you guys were saying that it was supposed to be like Jackie Chan from some movie that I've probably never seen before, and one guy actually said that it was supposed to be a character from Mortal Kombat, so I, I realized that I said that my reference was supposed to be the one that was true, but um, I was only saying that because, well, one, it was kind of my personal opinion, and two, it's what a lot of other people were saying on, like, you know, Reddit and other, you know, sites like that, so I do apologize if I cause any confusion, but, uh, you know, if you have your interpretation for the, you know, drunken master cat, then yours is perfectly fine and not going to argue against you. But anyways, uh, that aside, let's move on to this episode. So, I'm gonna be taking uh, a particular suggestion that a couple of you guys mentioned, or that you guys wanted to see in the last video. I know that a lot of other people have been mentioning it or have been asking for it in previous videos as well, but um, we're going to be talking about the actress cat. Now, this is one of the better special cats, let's say, because a lot of the special cats, I know that, you know, they're pretty cool and stuff, and they have a lot of interesting gimmicks and tricks behind their sleeves, but for the most part, not all of them are actually that great as, like, a general cat, but this particular cat is an all-around uh, very powerful cat for a lot of different scenarios, so instead of using this cat for for, like very specific scenarios you can use her as a general cat for your uh, you know your base team let's say but anyways let's just take a look at that a beautiful description maintains a high level of professionalism you see that this cat is perfectly the uh, the best representation of this channel right here <laughs> um, works very well with sexy legs cat exceptional attack power and range so obviously you know cats like the actress cat the vengeful cat the uh, salon cat cats like that they always go well with the legs cat that's why there's so many of them for you to choose um, but um, unlike the Salon Cat and the Vengeful Cat, this particular cat has uh, some slightly different stats that make it stand out a little bit from the uh, the other two, but uh, overall, all three of them together, they're, they're kind of more or less the same. Well, except for this cat's true form, but I'll get to that in just a second. So, this cat only costs 600. It takes a relatively uh, quick amount of time to actually spawn another one. So, you can say that this cat is um, a spam cat, but not a spam cat in the sense that it's supposed to, you know, just stall the enemy. Uh, it's a spam cat in the sense that you can spam a bunch of these to get uh, a decent attack force behind your front line. So, these are more or less supposed to support the overall cat army from the enemies actually breaking through and stuff. So, you can see that... Uh, uh, the actress cat is pretty tall, and without any legs to, you know, go with it, it's literally just a floating body in the sky, which begs the question, how on earth is it even able to move forward? Unless it's like, you know, the vengeful cat where it can actually just float around, which makes a lot of sense for her, but for this cat, I don't really see how it's possible to move uh, forward if it doesn't have any legs. Look at this, it's, just, it's literally just kind of like jumping up and down, or like kind of hovering up and down, which is pretty cool. And if that's the case, then it can't just like fly straight to the base. I don't know, that was always just kind of a weird question, but you can see that the, um, the actress cat attacks the actress's cat <laughs> Try saying that really fast, but uh, the ca this cat's attack power isn't really the most powerful, which is why I said that it, it does well. I don't think I mentioned it at all, but it does really well when you have a bunch of them together. So having a couple, like you know, isn't going to do a whole lot for your army. So that's why you need to, or it's recommended that you spam a bunch of these so that you know it, it's going to be uh, they're going to be at their most effective potential. So uh, they have decent attack power, really good range, not the greatest HP unless you evolve it further, um, but Overall, it's actually not too bad of a cat. Now, its attack animation might be a little bit slow as well, but that's kind of a thing for all of the cats of its genre, so I'm not even sure why I'm mentioning that. I'm sure you guys already knew that yourselves. But um, overall, this is just a very powerful support cat that, um, you know, you can have in your army. I, but I'll, I'll get to that more general information, my my own opinion, uh, at the end of the video. But uh, let's just get to the looks of it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that the black bear was attacking me, but uh, I was gonna say that the actress cat is a pretty standard, just wears a, you know, bikini top, and uh, I don't think it wears anything at the bottom, because that's what you're supposed to have for the, the sexy legs cat, or any other legs cat in general, but uh, I, I think that's about it that we're gonna say for the actress cat, because there's nothing else that we can really talk about, other than the fact that it looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> so the next evolution for this cat, actually, why am I even going through, why am I going through the special cats menu when I can just click on the cat? The, see, that's, that's some smart innovation right there from Ponos, but uh, the next evolution is the Mother Cat. Now, this cat's a little bit strange, but, you know, I'll get to that after we read the description. So, her love is limitless, works very well with the Sexy Lakes Cat, exceptional attack power and range. I, 
forgot to mention actually, I just, sorry, like uh, just kind of came to my mind, but uh, the Actress Cat can also do area attack damage, which is really good, and uh, I don't know, just cats that have area attack damage are just generally really good because like they're never going to have an issue uh, with massive gangs of cats in front of them. Um, it's, it's just the only thing that they really depend on now is their attack speed. But yeah, the mother cat's a little bit weird in my total opinion just because like not because of her stats or anything because they're not really that different from the, the first cat at all. It's just the way she looks and the whole logic behind it. So, you know, she has short hair. She has like several, you know, boobs pretty much and a bunch of little cats that are kind of uh, attach them. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. I'm gonna be guessing that they're kind of just drinking the milk from their mother or they're kind of just hanging there, not too sure. But uh, I only have two questions. One, why do you have so many boobs? And two, why are you going to battle with these baby cats on you knowing full well that you're pretty much putting their lives in danger uh, by, you know, you're literally smacking the enemies with one of them too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like that baby cat's not really appreciating. He's just like, mother, why are you using my body as a, as a weapon of violence? Violence to these other enemies. I don't know. It's always been uh, like this cat's always been really strange, which is why before I even got the true form of this cat, I almost never used the actress cat just because uh, I know I knew that its stats were pretty decent, but uh, it, it's just the fact that it looks so weird. Like, look at that. I, I, can't, I can't even look at that. And when you spam a bunch of these things, you have like literally an army of like cat babies that are now in the face of violence against these enemies. So it's a little bit freaky, a little bit scary, yes, but I'm sure that you guys probably don't care about how weird it looks. You just care about the stats, right? So, like I said, the stats are more or less the same not really a huge difference it's only in the true form where you can see a slight difference in terms of its attack power and health and all that fun stuff but uh yeah that's pretty much the uh mother cat right there again just oh so freaking weird so freaking weird they could, they could have at least given her like you know, some sort of a... See, this is what they should have done. They should have had, like, uh, maybe the mother cat wear some sort of, like, a uh, dress or something, and then her holding the babies in one of her arms, and then the other arm is free to attack the enemies. That would have made more sense. I don't know why they did it this way. I guess it's for the humor and stuff, but still, it's just uh, so, so freaking freaky. Just, I, I can't look at it. I can't look at it right now. <laughs> right now. So, we're going to move on to the final form of this cat, which is the best one by far. And, uh, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite cats, just in terms of the looks. I I mean, its stats are pretty good in its true form state, but uh, you gotta admit, it looks really freaking cool. So, this is the Beef Cake Cat. So, it turns from basically a lady to uh, just a really buff guy. Not really sure how that works, but uh, hey, maybe some sort of uh, gender switch is, uh, has been done for this particular cat. Not gonna get into that, though. Dominated the Bear... the Bear... the Barrick Knuckles? Barrick Knuckles Boxing Circuit. Okay, never heard of that before. Probably gonna have to Google search that in my own time. <laughs> With Long Distance Area Attack. Paired with legs that float like a butterfly, really stings like a beast. So obviously you got to put that really cheesy. Uh, it's not really a quote or a pun. Not really. Sure. It's like just a. It's a really lame saying that a lot of people used to say like back in like the 1800s. Like no one says it now, unless well, unless you're one of those hipsters. Then sure, you can say it all the time. But yeah, this cat in comparison to the first two forms is really powerful. So it has a slight. Well, I say really powerful because it looks pretty powerful. So you think that it actually is pretty powerful in terms of stats. But it has a little bit more HP and a little bit more attack damage, but the biggest difference here is that its attack speed is uh, almost reduced by half. Not exactly, it's just reduced by... It's it's noticeable when you look at its attack speed, so um, unlike the, the Salon Cat or the Vengeful Cat, this cat not only has enough HP to sort of take a couple of beatings, but also has the attack speed to continuously or to consistently hit um, at a reliable pace, so it's not like you're gonna have a whole line of these guys and then just kind of watch them attack every like five seconds, and this Okay, well, it's taking like 4.86 or something crazy like that, but uh, these, I'm just saying that these guys attack pretty, pretty quickly. So if you have a bunch of these dudes, by the way, just look at that. <laughs> Does that not look menacing? At least this guy has underwear, which I can appreciate, but man, look at those abs. Look at the muscles. That's that's going to be me in a couple of months once if I consistently continue exercising like I do right now. <laughs> I actually do work out in case you're wondering. I'm not just some typical gamer that's super skinny and stuff, not like Dan and is on fire or Amazing Phil. They're still pretty awesome, by the way, but uh, I, I work out just... I, I could look like this at some point. Maybe you could too if you did push-ups every single day. <laughs> but uh, so sorry, aside from that, uh, this cat can at attack pretty damn quickly. That's what I want to get at. But you can look at this. These guys, there's only two of them right here, and they're able to clean up the kangaroos with little to no trouble. Again, the HP difference isn't like crazy different from the second form, but uh, you know, if, if you're doing really like uh, epic battles or situational battles where you, you need like all the HP that you can, then obviously, yeah, it's a big difference. You can see that it, even these guys like just survive the black bear. The black bear hit them like a few times and then you realize, oh 
oh dang, these guys are really, really powerful. May as well just ignore them completely. So he's just like, nope, and then just runs right past them. And then of course the Reddit kills him because it has like a ridiculous power and stuff. But still, the Beefcake is pretty, uh, pretty powerful cat. Looks great, has really good stats. And if you have a bunch of these guys behind your lines, then uh, well, actually let's let's just see right here. Can can the Beefcakes do it? Can just Beefcakes take out the red face uh, dude right here? Don't know his official name by the way. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Just look at that. See, you know cats are good when they can beat the redheads in uh, the challenge battle. <laughs> but um, anyways, that's the Beefcake in a nutshell. Just a super overpowered uh, steroid looking uh, cat that um, you know just destroys everything, especially a lot of them. So uh, personally, I say that um, the beef cat. The beef cack, yeah, the beef cake cat is one of the better range cats. So, you know, if you're used to just using like uh, dragon cats and dr and crazed dragon cats, then definitely consider um, adding the uh, the true form of the actress cat to your arsenal just because, you know, you'll notice a pretty big difference in most of your general battles. Like, I know, like, once again, this cat doesn't specialize in any particular type of enemy. It's just an overall really good general cat or really good support cat to have for your main army. Now, before we end things off here, um, a guy named, let's see, Nova Game, yes, Nova Game suggested that uh, I should start, um, you know, adding in, a, like, an extra feature to the series, if you will, just to make it a little bit better, and I agree with his suggestion just because, you know, um, instead of just concluding on a note of, like, just staring at the page right here, may as, may as well show you guys one last thing that I think you'd find is super useful. So, if you do decide to get the actress cat and you end up getting it to its final form at level 30, which I have right here, then you can actually use it in a number of cat combos if you're, you know, looking for uh, particular cat combos, let's say, just for a particular battles. So, here in my second slot, I have all the possible combinations that I have for my cat combo list to, uh, in correlation with the uh, Beefcake cat specifically. So, this is the lineup that you should have if you want to have all the cat combos associated with this cat. So, uh, first off, have the Macho Legs cat, which is the true form of the Gross cat, then have the Cat Projector, which is just the evolved form of the cat Toaster. There's actually a true form for this cat, but I still don't have it yet, just because I haven't had the, I don't have the right cat fruits. And then you have to have this cat, which is basically just the evolved version, uh, evolved version, evolved version of the Buddhazavsta cat, just basically the Buddha cat. And this cat also has a true form, which I still don't have. Then you have the beefcake cat, which is just the actress cat. And then finally, you finish it off with the Paris cat. So before we end things off, I'll actually, <laughs> it's not gonna be a troll, I'm actually gonna show you guys what the cat combos are, because I don't remember, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I do know that if you have this particular lineup, you'll have a total of four cat combos, which is pretty impressive. So, first one is an increased slow effect, the second one is the resistance effect up, which is, uh, I think these are all small by the way, then you have the accounting power up, and then you have the uh, strength and effect up, so I'm not really sure exactly like uh, what some of these abilities are supposed to do. I know a couple of them, but I don't I don't know the other ones because I don't use them all the time. But, uh, you know, if you're wondering what the cat combos were for this cat, then this is what they are. So, obviously, you don't have to use these specific cats, like all these cats, to get all the four cat combos. I'm just showing this so that you know that with this cat, with all my cat combos, uh, there are a there are currently four that you can use with the uh, actress cat. There could be five if I'm missing some, but or five or six actually. But uh, those are the ones that I know of, off like for sure. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this slightly longer video, just because I had to mention the cat combos, then hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Battle Cats videos in the future. If you have any more suggestions, then free, free, uh, feel free to look at the or to. Uh, to <laughs> I'm I'm so uh, for some reason I just I just can't do this uh, outro correctly. But if you have any more suggestions suggestions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But before we end things off, I just realized this is too sorry. I feel like I'm stalling this video way too long than it should be. But um, I've noticed that for the past couple of videos, some people have been suggesting cats that I've already made videos for. So just as a recap, before you suggest a particular cat that you want me to show off, be sure to check out the uh, Battle Cats Evolutions playlist to see all of the previous cats that I've already talked about. So that in case I've already made a video of the cat that you want to see, then you can just check out that video instead of suggesting it again. I know that it might not be the, the greatest thing because some of my older videos, or for the Battle Cats Evolution series, isn't as good as the newer ones, but, you know, I shoved the cat there so you can see it for yourself. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Woo!